Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick how-to video. Um, as you may know that uh, if you have a turntable, one of the killers for audio quality with turntables is sound isolation. And in terms of sound isolation, it's usually what's transferred from beneath, you know, sort of the surrounding area onto the turntable through its feet and onto the tone arm, to the, the, the needle and tone arm. So the more isolated a deck is, the better. Now, a lot of turntables um, will have, this is a Riga Planner 2, um, have sort of these isolation feet, which are great. And they do do the job to a degree. But you also need further isolation from this thing, which is just the cabinet that it's on. Now, isolation plinths cost an absolute fortune, absolute fortune. It's, it's just a ways and means to milk money from a customer. You know, they charge, I've seen prices of several hundred pounds um, to create an, for an isolation deck, you know, plinth. So I've created this and it's cost me, it cost me 25 pound and you can just use one of these or two of these. But all it is, this is a chopping board, a granite chopping board. And I bought two of them. I got them from Argos, which is a shop in the UK um, that does all sorts of things. You could, if you're in the US, you can go to um, Target or uh, Walgreens or anywhere like that to to get these similar things. And what you then do is to create the one I've created here, just get some rubber feet, get them from Amazon, they cost a couple of pounds, and then get some um, coaster feet for um, uh, furniture and what have you. And these are glued on using what's called Gorilla Tape um, Gorilla Tape is like a very strong tape to bond things to and these can be adjusted because this is very unlevel um, I've had to adjust it but what it creates is this great very solid very heavy plinth that isolates any vibration coming from below and being transferred to the deck and that's the biggest killer of audio um, on a on a on a on a vinyl deck. So this is as effective as any um, of the sort of hundred pound, two hundred pound isolation plinths that you can buy online. This took me about ten minutes to put together, and twenty five pounds, which is say thirty five bucks to put together. You could probably invest more and get more expensive feet if you wanted to, but ideally you want feet that are just. And the other advantage is a lot of these decks don't have leveling. These feet don't move, they don't level. So unless you're, the place you're putting it is perfectly flat, you're going to get skating issues um, and sound issues as a result with your final deck. But if you use this approach, not only do you get the isolation, you can just use one or two of these, as I've used two here. You can then get adjustable feet and then use these to adjust this to be absolutely perfect level. So that's my handy hit, hint um, of saving you know, a good amount of money on creating a uh, solid, easy to use, very cheap um, plinth for your vinyl uh, turntable. And I'll be covering um, more turntable hints and tips in terms of setting up your turntable, setting up the needle, setting up the balancing, all these hints and tips that I have because I've used, um, I've had uh, uh, audio bits and bobs for many many years all sorts of things so yeah i hope to be able to sort of show you more on how to set that up very soon but in the meantime 
feel free to use this use these ideas use this idea because it will save your fortune okay guys thanks again bye bye